Training volume is a key variable for muscle growth, but there seems to be confusion around how much volume you should train with. Some claim that the higher your training volume, the more muscle you gain, whereas others have a minimalistic training approach and gain muscle just fine training with lower volumes. In this video, I will go into the research behind training volume and muscle development. My goal is that at the end of this video, you have a clear idea of how much volume you should be performing per muscle group to gain muscle. But first, we need a clear definition of training volume. You may have seen definitions online like volume is weight times sets times reps. But a 2018 research review suggests a more simple way to define training volume. Baz Fall and colleagues propose that volume can be defined as the number of challenging sets per muscle group per week. The researchers explain that as long as you train in a 6 to 20 rep range and you do not leave more than 3 repetitions in reserve at the end of each set, that every set has a similar muscle building effect. So the number of challenging sets you perform per muscle is a simple and effective way to define training volume. Up to a certain point, training volume has a linear relationship with muscle and strength gain. This is logical. Doing 5 sets of bench press in a week will get you better results than doing just one set of bench press. But you can't keep increasing volume linearly forever and expect greater muscle and strength gain to occur. In fact, there is a point in which more volume harms your muscle and strength gains. This usually happens when you train with more volume than you can recover from. Using a training volume that's too high for you will leave you chronically fatigued, which causes performance to go down and places you in a suboptimal environment for progress. This is why training more is not always better. So the next logical question is, how much volume is enough but not too much? Well, this is quite individual. Everyone's volume requirements are different. For instance, experienced lifters generally need more training volume compared to novice trainees. But from the scientific literature, there are good general guidelines that we can use as starting point. A 2017 meta-analysis led by Dr. Schoenfeld gathered the data from 15 training studies to provide evidence-based recommendations on training volume and muscle growth. Since there is little scientific research on high-volume training, the researchers could only analyze studies that had a volume range of up to 10 sets per muscle group per week. They found linear increases in muscle growth up to 10 plus sets per muscle group per week. This tells us that most people should at the very least aim for 10 sets per muscle group per week if they want to maximize muscle growth. You may now be asking yourself, if 10 sets per muscle group in a week is the minimum, what is the upper limit for volume? As mentioned, there are not many long-term training studies on high volume training, so the point at which more volume actually harms muscle growth is not entirely clear if we look just at the research. But based on my personal coaching experience and the expert opinions of researchers in the field, a reasonable volume range seems to be around 10 to 20 sets per muscle group per week for most people. Whether you should be on the high or low end of this volume range will depend on your recovery capacity and training experience, but in general I found that most people do not need much more than 20 sets per week in order to maximize muscle gain. I would only consider training volumes of 20 plus sets per muscle group per week if you are an advanced trainee that has years of experience with performing high volume workouts. The 10 to 20 sets per muscle group I suggest you have is quite a broad range. For beginner lifters, I suggest you stay closer to the 10 sets per week and scale this volume up over time as you progress in your training. It is also important to consider that there is overlap between muscle groups. For instance, if you train your back with a pull-up, not just your back muscles are trained, but also your biceps and rear deltoids. To help you organize all of this information, I created a figure that you can see now. You see the volume recommendations for three types of lifters, beginner, intermediate and advanced lifters. What type of lifter you are depends mostly on how quickly you can make progress. The slower your strength progress, the more advanced you typically are in your training. The big muscle groups like chest, back and quadriceps are trained with 10 to 20 sets, depending on your level of advancement. Muscle groups like biceps, triceps and your shoulders are only trained with an additional 3 to 12 sets 
because they already get trained quite a bit with your compound pulling and pushing movements. Also, I want to emphasize that the volume figure you see here is not a scientific model or something that's taken out of a highly controlled volume study. This is based on my coaching experience and interpretation of the current evidence on training volume. And let's not forget that these are starting points. It's almost impossible to figure out the right volume range for you without some trial and error. So give the volume ranges shown in the previous figure a try and based on how you respond you can make some changes. One question remained unanswered is when you should increase training volume as a novice or intermediate trainee. This will mostly depend on how you progress. If you've been training with a certain volume range for a while and you're no longer making progress, a slight volume increase usually helps. But before increasing volume, it is useful to look into your nutrition and recovery first. If you don't eat enough to support your training or train with more volume than your body can recover from, fatigue catches up to you and you'll have a hard time performing well in the gym. Regarding your recovery, consider the basic factors. Are you eating enough? Are you sleeping well? Is your stress managed? And are you resting enough between your sets? If you answered no to any of these questions and are not making progress in your training, your recovery may be off, so fix that first. Once you've made sure that your recovery and nutrition are in place, then consider having a volume increase by doing more sets per muscle group in a week. So based on what we've discussed so far in this video, there are a few key takeaways. Volume can be seen as the number of challenging sets per muscle group per week. Up to a certain point, volume has a linear relationship with muscle growth. Doing anywhere between 10 to 20 sets per muscle group is a good starting point for most people. Also, you can increase your training volume over time as needed to continue making progress in your training. That is all for this video. We have discussed quite a bit of information in a pretty short time span, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, leave me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful and I hope to see you in the next one.